Hi, my name is Darren and I head the Education and Outreach programs here at Comcrop. Comcrop is Singapore's first and only rooftop farm that uses greenhouse technology coupled together with hydroponics to produce vegetables. So how we do that slightly differently is that we look for underutilized spaces such as this multi-storey car park here. So we have converted that into a production space and we have built the greenhouses to help with the environment and we use uh, hydroponics to then allow us to grow crops very intensively which we then sell to the community. As a company, actually what we try to do is we see our role in society as not just a producer of food, but also an employer. So in addition to being very open to hiring retirees, we also work with elderly with dementia. So that would actually be the start where they help us to do some of the seeding. Then the seeds come over into the greenhouse and they are germinated here. We'll then run the nutrients through the medium. And because we circulate the, the water and whatever excess goes back into the tank and we keep recycling it, we actually save a fair bit more water as compared to traditional soy-based farming. Because we have this greenhouse here, we can do this growing without the use of pesticides and that we feel is a bit better for our consumers who are of course very concerned about the food that we are eating nowadays. Because we are producing so close to where the food is being consumed, it means that the time that it takes from harvest to consumption is actually quite short. Uh, when it comes to uh, transporting food over long distances, you also incur a fair bit of carbon footprint. Uh, the storage itself also requires a fair bit of electricity to, to keep the, the food chilled. So by bringing the production source closer, much closer to the consumption, you actually shorten some of these processes and you reduce a lot of the resources that are used uh, in the production. We need to recognize that the food chain stretches from producers like us to consumers like you, right? So for example, if you continually choose more local produce, uh, then the supermarkets will also be incentivized to actually stock more and support us a little bit more. We have gotten very used to going to the supermarket. I feel like eating chicken, then I just look at the, the myriad of options that's available to me. And all that I'm concerned about now is the price. But we need to also recognize that sometimes these choices will affect very much the sustainability of the local farms. If the local farms have to compete with overseas farms purely on price, then we are definitely going to lose because our labour is more expensive, our land is more expensive. Where possible, if you can buy local and support local, that enables the farm to consistently get the revenue. With consistency in revenue, then it's a lot easier to then expand and gain economies of scale. And more importantly, you can put in place a lot more of, let's say, the logistics um, and also the growing techniques that will actually in enable us to use less resources uh, which, which effectively is a little bit more uh, environmentally sustainable. I think it's, it's always been important for us to grow locally because when there are shortages, the instinct of most countries would always be to look after their own citizens first. If we are fully reliant on other people for our livelihood such as food, and water and things like that, then we will always be beholden to them in times of crisis. And having the ability to say that, you know, I, I can produce a fair bit of food myself, um, eases the pressure then on us to, to always have to rely on other people. We are always aiming to, to grow more farms. And the whole idea is that if we can have multiple productive farms all over Singapore, that gives us the ability to one, produce more food for local food security and, and self-sufficiency. Uh, secondly, it also enables us to engage more with the community and of course, we also are able to then employ more people to work with us on the farm. We find that having that then grows a more robust and resilient uh, food industry.
So we've come to the end of the tour and I hope you enjoyed yourself and learned a little bit more about the food industry in Singapore. If you'd like to find out more about us, you can find us on our website or follow us either on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, more importantly, look out for us at the supermarkets or on online retailers.